I ghosted a few people. But I looking back, that shit is like, that's fucked up. I hate ghosting. Please. Yeah, ghosting is fucked. Just avoiding the And I've been ghosted. But it's like when I'm when when a chick ghosts me, I, I love laugh. Because I'm I like, that it. ain't nothing but I deserve that. You know what I'm saying? I've done it. It's been a few times it's bothered me because I like liked the girl <clears throat> and thought it was gonna be something. But you know, the older you get, you realize that's just how it goes. Yeah, then I mean, you know, once you get to that point where you start breaking down the person that ghosted you, like, she ain't even that cute. Oh, that's your ego you talking. Lame. Yeah, you gotta do that though. That's how you heal. Or she just didn't like it. That's not how you heal. That is how you heal. Just shit on her. Yeah. <laughs> The healing process is just <laughs> picking her apart. Exactly. Just self, bitch, know, I ain't want you anyways. Ability. Yeah, fuck that bitch. That's catcalling uh, healing. Yeah. Yeah, what's up? Oh, I ain't want to talk to you anyway. You ain't even You just tried to talk cute. to me. Yeah. Well, nigga, I hate when he's like, you ain't even that cute. So then why are you hawking me down? Because niggas is horny. That's all. Nah, because I'm that cute. Nah, he's got a point. Yeah, niggas be horny, man. Yeah, Niggas be horny, that's all. But I, yeah, ghosting but is whack though. Like cat calling, really, I think, is more than horny. I think that's like a real weird impulse that people need to deal with. When you see a beautiful girl and you like try to talk, I to think her? that's like a tick and an impulse that you have. Yeah, it's, it's, it's autism. Yeah. Seeing a, a beautiful girl and you want to talk to her, that's talk autism. Every girl game. that walked by, you got to say something to. Yeah, to me, that's that's an impulse shit you need to deal with. They do it to every girl. I thought I was special. <laughs> you thought you were the only girl ever cat called in Manhattan. <laughs> no, I don't get cat called in Manhattan. I'm not Manhattan pretty. I get cat called in Brooklyn. <laughs> Wait, what? All right, I get, I get right, cat called right, in Brooklyn. Now, now I'm confused. Now it's Somebody like Somebody live in Manhattan, but white people. White people ain't cat calling me. White only white people live in Manhattan? White construction workers are definitely cat calling. No. They smile and whistle. That's a cat call. Nah, that's not a real cat call. Whistling at a girl is crazy. Yeah, they <laughs> they crazy. still whistle. I thought it was done, but that they was, still that was something whistle. from the 50s. That's a gentleman. Yeah. I, you know. I get whistled at in Manhattan, but in Brooklyn, it's year. Yo, yo, that, excuse me. That works. Excuse me, sweetheart. Excuse me, sweetheart. That be working on you, too. Get the fuck out of here. And you stop. <laughs> and you stop, yo. The marriage stop when a nigga be like, year. I stop and be like, huh? Get the fuck out of here. We know each other? <laughs> a year has worked on you? A year has, has no, a year has never worked on me. And, and, That's cap. No, a year has never worked on me. Has uh, a do uh, I know, do I know you from somewhere? Has that ever worked? The rest of where you know me in? from? She definitely say that. What car was he in? <laughs> I respect that. I respect that. That's honesty. <laughs> what if he was on the passenger side? Nah. Of his best friend's ride. Nah. Okay. I'm okay. The shooter be on the passenger side though. I'm I've outgrown the shooter days. The shooter do be on the passenger side. What, no? if, they, what if they're just driving to Starbucks? Mm, I don't want no man that drinks Starbucks. Soy boy. Yeah. They out here. Soy milk in your... Mm -mm. Vax and sugar. Just got vaxed up. <laughs> Precursor to the next yeah. episode. <laughs> First that I yeah. moved on from the shooter. The guy that is in the getaway car is getting the same charges. <laughs> they all going down. The guy in the crash car yeah. is getting the same charges. They all, they Everybody they is getting those charges. Down. And they snitching on each other. That's a fact. I think ghosting... And is, he's going to say, yo, I was just driving. Yeah. I think ghosting is better fit for a young, young man's game. I was I did a lot of ghosting. When you I was look younger. like you ghost. When I was younger, I did. Did ghosting work though when you're on the dating app and it's only like a mile vicinity? <laughs> yeah, I've never. Because then you're gonna like, see them. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, I mean in New York, it was in Chicago. I. But I also like if I seeing ghost, somebody that you ghosted is definitely like one of the most awkward encounters. You know what? It's, it's you know what though? Times. I've I've ghosted. How you been in the past? But I've never really ended. <laughs> you gotta hit that, that note was too. Gross. You How gotta you hit that octave. <laughs> <laughs> yo, body. yo, look at you. What's up? Look, look at, at you. you. Look at me, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you. Yo, why you ain't reply to my text? Look yo, at me, bitch. You heard Damaris? <laughs> that, Damaris definitely hit a nigga with that. <laughs> look at you, bitch. <laughs> Fuck out of here. <laughs> look at you. Yo, I was just thinking about you. Yo, I, yo, I was crazy. just about to call you. It's crazy how How's God works. <laughs> no, you was not, man. I was just trying to call you. What just do you mean you was just trying to call me? Yo, what I got me. Yo, I got a new number. Which number you got on me? Yeah. It's the same, same number. One. <laughs> same one. <laughs> <laughs> We're connected on Instagram. We got <laughs> every time I sign That's up for TikTok, up, man. you pop and up. And we shouldn't be laughing about that. That's fucked up. Ghosting people. Oh, no, wrong. I agree. I've done it and I it's I, wrong. I, I was I've, wrong. I've done it and I'm I'm wrong for that. I'm 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 still, you know, working. God is not done with me. 
I'm still, <laughs> I'm still, I'm still learning. Um, but yeah, stop ghosting people. That's not right. Well, the point I was making is I've ghosted people, but I've also never ended it on. I mean, if you ghost, the terms technically are bad term, but like it's never on a hateful ending. So if I see someone in public, I don't the, the awkward. It's like it's not really that awkward. I'm like, oh, like what's up? That's awkward. It, but like, it's not in the sense that I, if it was like, it ended poorly and then it like went to, we're never talking again. If you ghosted again. me, that's ending poorly. That's it's actually as poor yeah, as it's it a little is. weird that's if we're in line for food and I've been inside your body before and we haven't spoken. Yeah. It's weird. Yeah. And I text you and you just never text me back or we had something planned and you just never. I'm not judging you. Cause I've done the same thing. You know but to say great? it's not weird is weird. You know, it's great. Yes. What, what, I was, what? I've been inside of you and then I stopped talking to you and now we're in line together. We were it's practically weird. living together and you ghosted me. <laughs> what I love is when you text, uh, when you, when you realize, oh shit, I haven't seen or talked to so-and-so in like a month or whatever, like getting to that ghosting threshold. And then you look, you like search your name and go to the text, right? And you see that you're the last person that sent the last text. I'm like, all right. Oh, like you sent the text last? I sent the last text. I'm out. I'm good. And I, I, I like getting ghosted. What? Because it just alleviates. You have, to, you have to heal, bro. To me, that's a way. What do you mean you do too? Heal. We just said you got to heal. I, know, I didn't say I like heal. getting there's ghosted. You didn't hear me that. say I like getting ghosted? Well, if it's a girl that I'm really interested, obviously there's there's a stipulation with that. But for like a casual hookup thing, like good, go, go. It's great. And I'm talking about somebody like you're really dating and really. Oh, uh, no, that would suck. Obviously, that would suck. But like most of the time, if it's just like a casual fling thing, I'd love for you to be the person to be like, this isn't working for me. Sick. Bye. Yeah. I think I think we all know when certain situations are not healthy and working for us. And if it ends on a ghost note, I think it's easier that way. Because it's like, yo, this shit wasn't working out anyway. Like it does. It really doesn't matter at that point. But if it was like a good relationship and. Y'all just had like a rocky little moment and then it's ghost after that. That's when it's like, damn, like well, we couldn't try to work through yeah, that. Like, but if it's like we've been trying to work through shit since the, we've been dating each other and seeing each other and it's just not working. Yeah. And then somebody just stops responding and stop replying and it's like, all right. It was a while ago. I hooked up with a girl at a bar. Long like we met, met at a bar. Many moons. So it was actually a while ago. And we hooked up first night we met. And then we like did it again. And then she just stopped replying to me. I was like, we got, this is great for me. Like where we're at, like she lived close by late night thing after nights out with friends separately. And then she lived really close to me. And I kept seeing her around the neighborhood. She was always with the same guy. And I was like, oh, she's been cheating on her boyfriend with me. Yeah, you decide. Pete. And then I was like, oh, okay. It's like, I'm never gonna, I'm not like, I would encourage that. So like, I've never texted her back, never whatever. And like, we still, I see her around the neighborhood often with him. Cause they, I just think they live together. That shit is like an ego check though. Like when you find out you the side nigga. I'm I'm okay with that. <clears throat> you okay yeah. with being the side? I mean, like if that's yeah, I'm not I don't want shit from you. If you found out you were coffee girl's side, you would lose your fucking mind. If you found out you were her side. I would wow. take anything at this point. We don't even talk really. So I would that actually be great. Oh my really? god, I know you're worried. You love her that much? How long have you I thought y'all was cool? We no, I mean, we're cool, but like we don't I just the effort's not I'm just not putting in you're not chasing her no like i just i don't know i feel like the window how many times can we do this like let's rekindle and then no one won't see you for three months it's like weird it's like an odd cycle she, she has you on a she string got, she got a boyfriend she could sure she could just not like you like that or that sure she got a boyfriend that being, being said if she had a boyfriend and wanted to fuck me i would still fuck her that's fine with me that's a shooter okay right there. Shooter what if shooter. what if you were the side guy for a while and then she said i'll leave my boyfriend and does it would you then wife her one of my best, I'd never really believed in that, but one of my best friends was dating a girl for like four years throughout college, cheated on her with a girl he worked with when he moved to New York and they are now married with a kid and they are like the happiest couple I've ever seen. Don't let your, your husband, your boyfriend keep you from your husband. So in the spirit of that, if it was, I'd at least give it a shot. I would, if she's like, look, I didn't think this was going to become a thing, but I really like you whatever. I would at least see it through to be like, okay, let's try to actually date. Because this is someone that I've been wanting to date for, I guess, a while now. When you know she's capable of cheating, do you think that she wouldn't once she got... Everyone's with capable of cheating. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not faulting anyone for that. Mm -hmm. Just because you cheated doesn't make you a cheater. Just like, just because you lie doesn't make you a liar. Yeah, which, uh, sure. wa damn it, I'm so mad I'm the only person watching it. The new season of Love Island, There, there's a really good couple. And then the one girl finds out that her man, she asked him like, hey, have you ever cheated in the past? He said, yeah, but like a long time ago, I'm not. That does the whole like thing. Really handled it well. She couldn't get over it. That he cheated on her? 
that he, no, he no, he cheated, else in like in his life because she was like once a cheater, always a cheater. I was like, that's fucking bullshit. Like that's not how that works. It's not true. But it's but it yeah. That, I that's can recognize that. You know, I can understand that being a red flag. Somebody being a cheater. Yeah. Because there are people who have never cheated because they would never be comfortable with it. And I would prefer one of those people over somebody who has cheated. And they're like, yeah, but I'll never do it again. It's kind if of somebody was a serial cheater, yes, I could see that being a red flag. But if somebody happened to cheat once in their past, yeah. are we holding everything from your past up now as well? Yeah. If we're going to play that game. So, I don't know. I think it's funny your ego got hurt when you was the side guy. My ego? Yeah. Being a side guy is kind of tight. I was fine with it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if it was her. It's definitely a like, oh shit, like okay. It was funny. It was funny. <laughs> you know, what I'm I got to play my position. But how like, did you? I, thought I, I, was I, I knew. Baby. I knew my position from the rip. So no, but how did? Well, okay, so she must have told you. But how did you find out you were the side guy? Because for me, I didn't know until I saw them together multiple times, like throughout this in the city. Yeah, I saw her. I saw her with him. Oh, okay, same. I was deal. like, oh, okay, I'm the side. My bad. I thought it was first base. I go to shortstop. <laughs> but, <laughs> great position. Great position. It's versatile. I just didn't know where I was at on the field. My bad. Scared to be an option. Yeah. 